I love you. I love you too. So guys, now that just got flagged for demonetization. <laughs> Public displays of affection. It's just not right. You need to edit that out if you want to get anything out of this. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Adrian here and you're probably noticing this handsome guy next to me. This is Kenny. Hello. Uh, you haven't seen him for a while. He was last in my uh, Whidbey Island vlog that I posted a year ago. Something like that. I think it was like the second time that we went together. Yeah. yeah. So um, he's here because he's going to be assisting me with today's video. So before we get into the review, I have an announcement from The Awakening. So what's happening is uh, Ashton Knight posted on Instagram that he is running a contest for creating a music video to his song Back to Wonderland from his new album Chasm. So there are a whole bunch of prizes that you can win. It's really cool. And if you guys want more details on that, go to theawakening.com slash wonderland. So um, all of the details there will be included, um, all of the prizes, uh, all the stuff that, you know, constitute your submission, how to submit, and when the deadline is. So I'll just go ahead and say the deadline now. The deadline is going to be May 15th of 2019. So yeah, guys, please uh, show your support to Ashen Knight and The Awakening because the Awakening is amazing. Kenny hasn't heard enough of them to form an opinion. Mm, accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Th that's usually what he says whenever I say, hey, babe, what do you think of this? I haven't seen enough of it to form an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the easiest way of saying, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt anyone's feelings. No, it's a polite way of saying it, so um, I appreciate that. And I've actually used that phrase myself, so it's just like, haven't heard of it, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I will leave a link for that down in the description below. And now on to the review. We are going to be reviewing the Parlor Company's Gothic Perfumes. And as you can see, I have not broken the seal on this little package here. And I'm super excited. You can kind of smell a little bit of it. Even though it's not actually, yeah, yeah, you can. So, you guys are seeing this on camera. I, I'm actually right, opening this. You don't want to show them the address side. It's a P.O. box. Oh, well, still. It's not like we're going to be living here much longer. Yeah. Oh my god, that's just an explosion of smell. Have you, it almost smells like juicy fruit gum. Like that's maybe it's because they're all mixed in together, but that's yeah, what that's I'm getting. It. Juicy fruit. And now I really want gum. We're not sponsored. No, not at all. <laughs> no, I usually make a really good point, and I appreciate it when other YouTubers make a really good point of saying, "Oh, hey, this video is or is not sponsored." So, all right. So first thing you get when you um, open this is this adorable little pamphlet. Let's see what it says. Okay, so it gives a description of all of the scents included in here, so I'm super excited to try these out. So there's this list of the men's scents, and I got three of those for you. <laughs> Which ones did you get me? I got Nocturnal, Solstice, and Equinox. What? You didn't get me Saloon? I think that would have been perfect for me. These are more florals, so that's why I got, mm -hmm. I got those, and I know you like floral stuff. I do. Yeah. I do. So was that fair? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I'm just gonna crack these open and lay them out. Just took a look here. These delightful names. Uh, one of them is uh, an Indigo Kid title. Uh, so I'm gonna tell Indigo Kid they need to reach out to these people and tell them. Send a cease and desist letter. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's a funny guy. So. I don't know then how we're going to be able to tell which one's which in terms of those scents. Because if the labels fell off... I mean, we can take a guess. I mean, I suppose we can. But I'm sure they'll still smell good. Yeah. Okay, so Grave is Moist Earth, Patchouli, Cedar, Amber, and Pine. Rose Petals and Sweet Vanilla evoke the scent of flowers left for the departed. 
So, Grave was in this one that leaked, so... Yeah, we know that much at least. The good news is, is that since all of these ones were together, uh, it's Seance, Coven, Grave, and Lunar, uh, we can at least narrow down, you know, there's, there's, there's like a 25% chance that we'll get them right. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just say we have no idea what these four are, but... But I'm sure they'll smell good. And then we can just say, you know, hey, the product smells nice, we just don't know which one was which. Yeah. So I got yeah. three from the Victorian Morning Collection, three from the Dark Magic Collection, and then three from the Gentleman Collection, so... Okay. Yeah. No squirt? Yeah, no squirt. Man, no, it's got a little bit of a... Uh... It's musky. Yeah. yeah it's, it's earthy. It's got a little bit of the spice that you mentioned to it, which one of these things it's got... It says it's got pepper in it. Spicy. So I would guess it's probably Seance just because it's got a spicy smell to it. Yeah. And it says spicy black pepper. Yeah, spicy black pepper. It definitely smells like that. So, yeah, it's definitely kind of smoky and spicy, which um, it, it has a little bit of a feminine edge to it, which I like. So I'm going to guess that one's Seance. Maybe just kind of wave it around. Disperse the smell to try and cleanse our nose palette i don't know what you'd call the sense of the fancy Ol smell olfactory olfactory sense. nerves there yes. we go oh it's still there look it's <laughs> persistent it keeps haunting us oh no <laughs> uh, hey you're usually the king of the puns here yeah but that's uh you know the thing is though, is that that works for like half their titles so i mean yeah. You're still king of the puns. I, I generally speaking, yeah. Alright, let's get a load of this one. Oh, that's the fruity. Fruity one. Okay, so since this one's fruity, I'm going to guess it's Lunar. So, Lunar says... Yes, fruity citrus blend of pink grapefruit, warm vanilla, apple, and a woodsy wink of spicy clove and rosewood. That, that is definitely... That's fruity. That's definitely fruity, but in a good way. So, we're down to two. Grave and Coven. Again, I'm really sorry that these kind of uh, broke in transit, but um, blame the fucking post office. They suck. suck here. Yeah. Okay, let's check this one out. That one's definitely spicy. So, spicy and earthy. So, I'm going to guess that one's Grave. So, let's see what Grave is. Uh, moist earth, patchouli, cedar, amber, and pine. Rose petal and sweet vanilla. Well, maybe. So it's either grave or coven. So coven is woodsy, amber, redwood, and clove. Dash of exotic uh, plumeria, violet, and smoke. Okay, this one's smoky. This one's smoky, so I'm going to guess that one is coven then. But I like it. These are really, really interesting scents. I dig. Yeah, she's trying to re-stick the stickers. Yeah, now that it's out of its package and not quite as uh, wet. Okay, next, time for the next one. I'm going to say careful there. Sorry. Okay, there we go. That's grave. Yeah, no, grave. that's grave. That's got very strong patchouli scent patchouli to it. Patchouli and rose. Yeah. I definitely smell that little rose finish if that makes any sense yeah yeah so i think we I think we guessed the the smells mm -hmm. i think we guessed them and um since we were able to guess them it's it, it's a pretty good indication of uh how well the perfumer did in creating these uh fragrances which i appreciate or it means we don't know what we're talking about <laughs> Oh, and by the way, guys, before I forget, I did want to mention that all of the perfumes and the colognes that these guys have are vegan and cruelty-free. There are certain products on their website that are not vegan. However, everything is definitely cruelty-free. All right, so we got past the first four. <laughs> Great. Now come the men's smells. Okay, so this is the one I was most excited about trying was Nocturnal. And this is one of the men's scents. And... Uh... Mandarin, pepper, cypress, ebony wood, leather, amber, and musk. I do like the smell of leather. Yes, he does like the smell of leather. He loves leather. Sorry, vegans. There we go. I like that. Ooh, I really like that. 
Yeah. Would actually, you wear that? I would consider it, yes. Um, I mean, I only wear cologne on very rare occasions. So Usually special I've, occasions. I've literally had the same bottle of cologne for a decade or so, uh, ever since I got my first suit, actually. So, I mean, I might, but I wouldn't buy a big bottle because I'm, I am still have over half of that bottle of cologne I got from 10 years ago. So, <laughs> I don't really use them enough. But, I'm happy that you like this one. Yeah, it's a good smell. Yeah, I, I really like that. So the next one we're going to be looking at is Solstice. Solstice, bergamot, rosemary, oh I love rosemary, moss, sandalwood, amber, and mint. You okay. like all those things, so that's why I, I do got like this one those for things. You. Yeah, actually, I like moss quite a bit. All right, let's give it a whirl. That's got a lighter smell to it. Like it doesn't have as much of a punch as nocturnal, and I actually kind of prefer that in yeah. a way because I don't like overwhelming smells. Like toxic acts. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the the the, the stuff that people try to use in lieu of a shower. <laughs> Uh, I like I like lighter scents. The 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 cologne I have is a it's light it's, floral. It's it's lavender based. Yeah. And it's just very light, but it's light. But people still manage to catch it. Like if I walk by, but without a punch to the face. It's more like a few moments later, kind of lingers around, and someone goes, "That smells nice. Who has that?" <laughs> and then it turns out it's this handsome man right here. Yeah. That's it. At least that's when I'm using it. Otherwise, most people, they just smell my deodorant. And then they always go, oh, what's your cologne? It's like, it's not cologne. It's Fiji. That actually Old happened spice. to me one time. It happens uh, all the time. But when we first met, before we started dating and we were working in the same office, like he would uh, kneel down to help me with something on the computer. <laughs> and uh, I'd be like, oh my God, that cologne you're wearing is amazing. What is that? And you're just like, it's, you know, Fiji. It's Fiji deodorant. deodorant. And I'm just like, okay. Maybe it's the deodorant combined with your pheromones that smelled really good. It's possible. Yeah. I mean, I when I walked uh, walked to the floor, I did get a little bit of a sweat going, so. A little bit, yeah. All right, so the next one is Equinox. <laughs> He's just getting the smell out. I'm trying to. At this point, it's such a mix of scents. But when it's there, like right after I spray it, we can differentiate. Yeah, so. yeah it gives us a couple moments to try. All right, so Equinox, white pepper and saffron, soft florals, and a seductive patchouli. So mm. Mm. maybe I'll like that one. Maybe you will. Maybe. I, I have a feeling you will, knowing you. Mm. It's okay. It's 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 it, it almost reminds me of like old lady perfume though. Kind of, a yeah. A little bit of like that old lady smell. Yeah. So definitely. So of the three, I'm guessing that you're gonna prefer. Uh, solstice so far solstice nocturnal and then that one so because that one that one's like the kind of smell you get when you walk into a uh, a fabric or a hobby store you know not yeah you know, one kind of, of those things because yeah. a lot of little old ladies go in you know they're buying their their yarn and I mean heck I go in there well, it's semi-regular basis to get you know my craft supplies he likes to do embroidery. I do. It's it's uh, it's a fun pastime. I need to get to doing it more though. He actually embroidered a really pretty uh, pillow case for me uh, the first birthday that we were together. So yeah. uh, it was a white pillow, and then he had one purple rose because he likes purple, and then one red rose because I love red roses. So um, it's gorgeous. I love it. I yeah. was just like. And, and the thorny stems shape into a heart yeah. for uber cheesiness. Because, let, let's be real, Kenny and I kind of like cheesy stuff, a little bit. You can tell. <laughs> he actually gets a kick out of whenever we're walking, like, out and about together, especially when he's wearing Hawaiian shirts, <laughs> and especially when I'm all gothed up. Yeah, it just confuses people. It's it really, great. Especially the guys. Yeah. Like CS. Uh, in fact, when we go to Vegas for her convention, because the convention has a very specific dress code, I will wear the dress required for that. But every other minute we're in Vegas, Hawaiian shirts all the way. Yeah. I got one of my friends to start wearing Hawaiian shirts, and now he, he wears them a lot when he does shows. It's great. Really? Yeah. Huh. Uh, Dalton. Oh, okay. He's, yeah, I've seen him a lot in uh, uh, 
Uh, Hawaiian shirts whenever he comes to visit. Yeah, it's because it's because he he saw my style and then he decided to take it, <laughs> and I'm okay with that. If anyone's gonna be allowed to take some of my style, it's Dalton. So. So we got cemetery here. Cemetery. Somber notes of wet petals, rain-filled fog, and fresh-cut grass as you walk among a graveyard. Well, that sounds cool. All right, let's give it a go. Spray a little more. Yeah. I'm definitely getting the grass. Yeah, I'm get, definitely well, getting grass and kind of ivy. It's like I'm def about all I'm getting out of that's the grass, which makes me think of, uh, you know, actually now it's got a second to breathe. Like lily petals. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it smells like. I was going to say, because uh, all it does is make me think of mowing lawns, <laughs> you know. But it has kind of that feminine, like, floral touch to it. Yeah, yeah. so it's not quite a dad smell. It, it's kind of gardeny. Yeah. Yeah, like walking through a garden a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, last but not least, this is the one I was most excited about trying. This is Till Death Do Us Part. Indigo Kid. <laughs> uh, sensual notes of black rose, patchouli, orange zest, vanilla orchid, and cinnamon. A spicy and sweet flora, uh, flora scent which binds your soulmate to turn. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, here we I'm go. Sure. Okay. You're so cute. I don't really get much out of that at all. Let me give another go. Spread it on my arm. Put it in a little bit here. It's a little more on the spicy and sweet side than yeah, floral. No, definitely get a little more spicy on that. Yeah. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I, I I really like musky scents, especially on me because I have sweet pheromones. So mm. when you add s something musky and spicy to, um, you know, my natural scent that I have, it kind of gives it a sweet little edge. So honestly, their prices seem to be fairly reasonable too. Yeah. So uh, you can get um, like a bottle about yay big for uh, they've got uh one ounce 15 milliliters and three milliliters it doesn't really have them so i'm guessing this one's the 15 milliliter and then this mm -hmm. one's the three milliliter mm -hmm. and then this one is the one ounce because milliliters are sm yeah smaller than ounces. yeah that's probably it yeah because the three millimeters are you know these sample sizes so the reason why i wanted to bring kenny for this review is because Sometimes girls are like super biased when it comes to uh, per like reviewing c colognes and perfumes and stuff like that. So I kind of wanted to get his perspective because uh, checking out different scents like with candles or perfumes or stuff like that, we're both really interested in that. So I wanted to get his insight on the scent profiles here. Well, not only that, but there's a lot of times where, you know, a girlfriend will think, oh, well, you know, my boyfriend will love this. I love the smell. They buy it and then the guy goes, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. You know, and that's happened a couple times with, with some of her, her presents. She's got me like body lotions and I've, I just don't use lotion at all. My hands really, are naturally soft. Yes, they are. You know, it's Very naturally, naturally soft skin. Yeah. But I'll use it for like, if I'm going to give her like a back rub or something at my place and we don't have any of her fancy smelling stuff. Uh, so she gets men scented massages in essence <laughs> but but you know he doesn't mind that smell on me yeah but it's one of those things that uh it's good to get a, a guy's opinion if it's a guy who's going to be forced to wear it <laughs> so forced well, so yeah. of the men's fragrances uh i know you said you liked uh solstice solstice the most, the most. Uh, i like solstice the most and then nocturnal's uh, probably a close second. Nocturnal's second, and then uh, whatever the last one was, what was Equinox. that? Equinox. Equinox? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Equinox is last uh, on yeah. mine. Though I really, I, I will say, I'd be interested in Saloon. Okay. Um, because even though I don't smoke, never have smoked, actually scratch that, I smoked a cigar for my 18th birthday, <laughs> uh, and I smoked 
a, like a corn cob pipe one New Year's. But I don't smoke, but I do kind of like the smell of tobacco to an extent. And it's, I feel like this probably has a very light tobacco scent to it because it says cedarwood, tobacco, fresh rose petals, tonka bean, and oak aged bourbon. Now the oak aged bourbon, that definitely sounds great to me. Yeah, it does. Uh, but you know, a little bit of a, a little light tobacco, I think I'd be okay with that. Yeah, because there are certain smoky smells that he likes, like when it's, uh, you know, like early spring, like late fall season, yeah. um, you know, people are burning wood outside. Well, they're, and... they're burning uh, a lot of like leaf piles and stuff like that. And then during the winter, all oh, the smell of wood smoke. Especially applewood. He loves burning applewood in his house. <laughs> yeah, it just fills the, the whole home with this wonderful smell. It just That's lingers. Great. And you can use like little chips of it, uh, you know, if you're gonna do uh, barbecue, because you get kind of like an applewood smoke flavor added to your stuff. Uh, we. We don't use it very much, but I have a, a grill that has like a smoke chamber. It just takes forever. <laughs> yeah, smoking stuff does take forever. All right, so that was the review of uh, Parlor Company's uh, Gothic perfumes. And like I said, the, the perfumes are vegan and cruelty free. So if you guys want to check them out, um, their website will be in the description below. And if you use my special coupon code, Adrian, right here, then you will get 20% off. And I don't get anything from that affiliate, uh, well, it's not an affiliate coupon code, I don't get anything from it. It's just, you know, the creator's way of saying thank you for checking it out via my video. So, yeah. Huh? And it's exclusive just to people who watch this, so, yay. Okay, so last thing before we go, we have an announcement, and it's something that we're both very excited about. So last week, I mentioned on Instagram something very, 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 very exciting. I talked about it in my Instagram stories. Most of you probably have heard the news. Kenny and I are going to be moving within the next couple of months to Whidbey Island. And if you guys haven't seen our vlog of Whidbey Island yet, you need to, so you can see how beautiful this place is. It is positively gorgeous. Yeah. And, uh... There are two main reasons where we're going to be moving there. One of them is for the sake of my health, because to be honest, my allergy injections that I have to take every week are getting less and less effective. I'm getting sick and tired of the swelling and the bruising on my hip that I have to subject myself to every week when I give myself the injections. And, not only uh, that, but the not having to do injections all the time saves a lot of money. It does. 100%. Yeah, because the price for that stuff is obscene. Positively obscene. You know, the last week I've actually woken up with nosebleeds from my allergies. So my body is telling me, get the fuck out of here. Because <laughs> whenever I go to Whitby Island, I don't sneeze. Even when I forget to do my injections. Yeah. So it's just better for my health in the long run in order to move there. And another reason that we're moving is because we're both having a really hard time finding employment here, employment opportunities. Decent employment opportunities. There we go. Specifically, because I've got a part-time job I dislike. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's literally awful. <laughs> but um, I've been having a hard time finding a job, and even when he applies for banks, which is where we worked when we first met, and that was the longest job that I had, and he's been there for four years? I was there over four and a half years. Four and a half years, and then So worked... pretty much my entire adult life, <laughs> I worked in a bank call center. Yeah, and uh, how many years were you a supervisor? Or team So leader? I was a supervisor for like a year, over a year, and then I was a team lead for something like a year and a half to two years, and then I was like a trust specialist prior to that, so I, you know, a lot of bank stuff. Yeah, so he's had a lot of experience in banks and we've both applied for several banks around here and we've both been shot down. But um, we've actually gotten several responses over in the Whidbey Island area for jobs and we're both really excited and we're hoping that it will um, lead to some awesome full-time employment with all the benefits that we need because let's face it, I have issues, he has issues um, with his health as well. So yeah, Minor. I mean, honestly, hilariously enough, I get my medication cheaper now without health care 
which makes no sense to me <laughs> because I'm getting it in larger doses, but for like five bucks cheaper. So, you yeah. know, it's one of those things that. Thankfully, my birth control is still free. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so we're going to be moving, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on for that, but we just don't know exactly when we're going to move. We just know as soon as one of us has a job, we're going. We're booking it. Yeah. But I'm, I've started the process of packing already just so that we're ready for when the time comes. Yeah. So, yeah, we're both really excited. We love it over there, and it's going to be amazing, and I can't wait to start our new life together in paradise. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below if you're excited about The Awakening's new contest. And please go check that out or I will hunt you down and find you. <laughs> because The Awakening is amazing and they deserve your support. Um, also, tell me what you think about the parlor company's uh, perfumes. Which one sounds good to you? Have you ever had any previous experience with them? And uh, if you have anything to say about us moving, uh, we really appreciate it if it's... Uh, kind and supportive, but if it's not, we'll just laugh it off. Yeah. As he typically does. <laughs> he gets a few interesting comments on our gaming videos. Well, nothing been offensive. No, so. just interesting. Yeah. So hit that bell for notifications so that you can be notified when I post a video, and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye! Bye!